MovieWeb.com. Police Chief James Porter lived to serve and protect. Now, Mama, I know you like the new security system. Watch this. When it comes to his daughter, he's a little overprotective. Melanie, I got your lemonade. I, 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 I. <laughs> Sip on that. Now. I'd really like to go to Georgetown. <gasps> That's hundreds of miles from here. We agreed on Northwestern, 40 minutes from home. Dad, why do you insist on treating me like a child? To help her pick the right school, he'll have to show her the choices <laughs> on a college road trip. Oh, no. Road trip. Road trip. <laughs> This is a really interesting cast you've got put together here, and it's almost like Boonwellian in scope. I'm wondering, how did you become part of this? Well, it's, it was, for me, it was easy. Raven Simone, you know what I mean? Uh, she's uh, cool points at home with my daughters, you know, something, <laughs> do a movie that they could see and enjoy, and uh, that's, that's why I got involved in it. So you were a fan through your daughters? Like you yes, were through Raven, music? and I watch her show, That's So Raven, and, and uh, you know, uh, it's always on the Disney Channel, you know, because my kids, they control the TV. So, you know, it's a lot of fun for me to get involved with, with, with Disney and, and this movie. Did you get to bring your daughters down and show off a little bit? Oh, get no her... question. I brought them to the set. <laughs> they got to kick it, kick it with Raven and take pictures with her and everything. So, you know, that, you know, you can imagine how that makes me look at home. So I gotta know, are you a fan of Louis Bunuel? Because this almost seems like a cast he would have put together. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Wow. Um, yeah, I am. I just never been asked that question. That's a, <laughs> well, because yeah. I'm wondering how you got all of these people together, plus the pig, because this is a very sort of odd cast. Yeah, that. well, Martin and Raven were already attached to the movie, so I auditioned for them to get on it, you know? So, so, so once we were there, then Donny Osmond was just a stroke of luck. We'd written this character, and the casting person asked who I wanted. I said, someone like a Donny Osmond, and then it was like, well, why don't we just get Donny Osmond? Hadn't done a movie in 30 years, so. We've, we've tracked him down in Europe. Hey. All clear? Not yet. Wait for the first wave. Bye! Second wave. What were some of the ideas that you brought to it that you wanted to change from the original script? Like just as, far with, as, character? as far as my character, um, they had some parts in there that were very snappy, very disrespectful to the father, and definitely an African American family that's not tolerated whatsoever. So I thought that we just needed to make sure it was more true to life um, in this type of family. So I definitely brought that attention to the director and the producers. Now, did you kind of associate with this character yourself? I mean, could you kind of see where she was coming from with the dad? Most definitely. Not necessarily, um, you know, because my dad peeped behind the window shade to see if I was, you know, leaving in a separate car, but just because I had friends' fathers who did that. And friends and, you know, that didn't really get to have as much fun when they were younger because their parents were so overbearing. Can I help you out with gas money, anything? Gas money? Yeah. We charge hugs in this family. Thank you. You mean so long, farewell. Ah, Peter, say not adieu. Adieu. How do you come into a movie where the pig is set up to steal the film, but you overshadow and destroy this pig? Yeah. How do you do it? Says a lot about my acting ability. I beat a pig. I beat out a pig. I have arrived. Well, I mean, there's other people in the movie, but the pigs, like, the people remember. Mm -hmm. But your end scene in the film got the biggest applause. Really? Well, I almost think they did that on purpose, so because the end scene with you got so much applause, but it was right at the end, so it looked like what, the whole movie was Do you realize what kind of applause. compliment you're giving me right now? Is that, you know, that's, that's uh, one of the rules in Hollywood. Never work with a kid. And never or, give you a compliment? 
Oh, huh? I said never give you a compliment? No. That's one of the rules <laughs> no. of Hollywood? Never work with a kid and never work with an animal. And you say, I beat out the animal. You did. Uh, you know, that's the best compliment I've received all day. But I beat out a pig. Now they're going to say, don't ever work with an animal or Donny Osmond. Or Donny Osmond, yeah. I mean, how's that going to affect your career now? Well, we, you know, pig, Donny Osmond, are you making a, a kind of a comparison here? No, kids and animals, and now Donny Osmond and animals and kids. There's yeah. three now. But, you, but, you're, like, you're, but you're likening me to a pig. No. Yeah, that's what you were just saying. No, only because you steal the show. Over. Gee, I'm not <laughs> like that. <laughs> About that pig, he keeps eyeballing me like I'm cooking his cousin. Pig ain't eyeballing you. Oh. See, he's doing it right now, baby. Look, look, he's doing it right. He's doing it. It's, it's all in your head, James. Little Houdini pig. Ain't no Houdini nothing over there. Do what you gotta do. <laughs> well, I gotta ask about the pig is that some people think you're cribbing from like recent movies like The Pacifier with the duck, but if right. you go back to the 70s, all of those films had a very strange pet. Like I was just watching, uh, what's it, No Deposit, No Return, and the kid had a pet skunk. So I'm like, right. did you go and look at all the old movies and see which animals had already been used and which hadn't at this point? No, we, uh, we uh, the pig was again, was in the script. So when I was on board, I knew that like when you make a Disney movie, there's an animal. Uh -huh. <laughs> I just wanted to say, all right, if I'm doing this, you know, I gotta make up my own. I want the pig swinging from a chandelier. I want the, you know, and I really want, you know, crazy pig that's like a person. Who is harder to work with, Donnie or the pig? Because they both kind of upstage uh, the whole picture. <laughs> uh, I would say uh, probably the pig. pig. Don, Donnie's fairly, fairly easy to work with because he, he always brings good energy and he's, and he's a very talented guy I and mean, he's a lot of fun to work with. Uh, the pig is just because I never understood what the pig was saying. Yeah, <laughs> it does talk a little bit too. <laughs> right, it's... right. Now, who did you find harder to work with, the pig or Donny Osmond? Because they're both kind of showboating in this film. I'm telling you, man. This I'm t this whole press junket is about Donny Osmond and the pig. Is it? Um, yeah, it is. <laughs> I love it though. It's great. Um, it was. Yeah, Donny Osmond's amazing. It was that pig, man. He was just such a pig. You know, he was just everywhere, taking up all the room. But Donny Osmond was a dream. I'd love to work with him again. New friend, your luck just changed. It was an itsy bitsy teeny weeny. Yes. No, you know what, Paul? I got to tell you, <laughs> okay. I didn't expect this movie to be this big of a thing. I thought it was a small little cameo role, and I'm so glad I did it because the, the experience was so much fun. Because Roger gave me license to do whatever I wanted to do. He said, "Give me more," and. Uh, so I'm so glad I did it. I'm glad you did it too. It was awesome. And working for Disney is like full circle because I don't know if you know this, but it was Walt Disney who discovered my brothers. I didn't know that. So it started with Walt and now I'm back That's in great. the Disney organi organization. <laughs> well, now what's it like getting a kiss from Donny Osmond? It's got to be... Uh, a kiss from Donny Osmond is very moist and very sticky and very uh, Donny. Very Donny. <laughs> yeah. It's his own signature. See, I didn't, I didn't even watch this part because it has Donnie on it, so I'm going to tattoo Donnie right here. So people say that was that's where Donnie kissed me. And yes, I'm a man. Donnie's a man. But hey, it was Donnie Osmond, ladies and gentlemen. Donnie Osmond. Right here. Right here. Everybody eating all coffee beans you threw away.